Hello everyone, welcome to the WSM practical series. In this particular session, we will study about the directional antenna simulation using Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is the topology we are using. Okay. So the devices, the first is the server and we can see we will assign the IP addresses 192.168.1.1. Then the second component is a smartphone. It is the IP address would be 192.168.1.2. Then this is the light we'll be using and the given IP address. And the next component is the webcam with the given IP address. And we have the garage door with this particular IP address. So these are the components. Uh, the last one is of course the home gateway. We don't assign any IP address to this. Okay, so it is uh, used for this wireless connectivity with the various devices and a wired connectivity towards the server end. So now let us simulate this uh, on the Cisco Packet Tracer. Now we are into the Cisco Packet Tracer. So let us select the components and uh, so the first is the server. Okay. Then next is the mobile uh, that is smart smartphone. I just paste there is a smartphone here. Then uh, we have the home router. So we get the home router in this wireless devices. You can find it here. The home gateway. Sorry, this is home gate, not home router. It is home gateway. Sorry. Then we need uh, light. I'll just type light here. In this case, you can see you'll find it. This light is here. Then uh, we need a webcam. So I'll just type here webcam. So here we have the web camera. Now they get uh, these two devices. You can see they get automatically connected. Then finally, uh, we have the garage door. This is the garage door. Okay, these are the three components. Okay, and they will of course get automatically connected. Now, the smartphone is not getting connected. So what we do? We click on this home gateway, and uh, in the config, okay, and uh, you can see this is the wireless in the config. We have this wireless and this SSID we have to copy here from this is the SSID. I just control C I copy this and uh, then I click on smartphone and in this config for this wireless zero. Okay. Now here we find this uh, SSID as default. So we just paste this here the home gateway name from that particular home gateway and this gets automatically saved. So now we will see this also gets connected. Now we need to connect this server to the home gateway. So what we do is uh, we click here. We just click on this wire and we get this particular copper straight through and click here fast ethernet with this uh, ethernet one. Okay. So now uh, what we do next is uh, we assign the IP addresses as I showed in the particular uh, presentation so we'll just assign the IP address so we start with server okay the desktop so this is 192.168.1.1 okay subnet mask will be automatically assigned that's all what we do here next we go to the smartphone okay and in the desktop IP configure okay it would be actually on DSCP we click on static and assign this 192.168.1.2 this will automatically come okay so this you can see the interface is wireless 00 by default okay then uh, we come to the light okay in light we go to the configuration okay in configuration uh, we click on this wireless 0 okay or even we can do from this uh, also i'll just click on wireless and this is the IP configuration on wireless zero. Just click on static because it is automatically assigned. So we just click on static and assign the IP address 192.168.1.3. Okay, this is the IP address. Then we come to this uh, webcam. Okay, in config. Okay, we can uh, just click on this I stat, uh, wireless zero and here static. This 192.168.1.4. Okay, this is 1.4 then finally the last the garage door so config then wireless zero static and 192.168.1.5 okay this is done okay next what we do is we go to the server 
okay and uh, in server we have this services part so we click on this iot and we need to registration so this service should be on so we must put it on okay after putting it on we click on this desktop and now we register the name username and ip address so for that purpose we need to access this 192 the server itself 192.168.1.1 this is the ip address of the server itself so when you click on go it will ask if you don't have any account so we need to sign up now so i just click on sign up because i don't have any account here so i click i just type the name smile as a username you can type any name and the password is also smile so i just create one account so this account is created that is what we get okay now we close this okay so we need we need to add all these devices so let us come to this particular light okay we go to the settings okay so by default is already in settings now here you can see iot server okay so we need to define the remote server so this is our server 0 that is 192.168.1.1 this is our remote server and thus of course this is smile and password is also smile okay we just connected so if we get here refresh it means it is okay when we get refresher it means it has been connected so if we don't get refresh we can again get connect then it means there is no connection there may maybe some something has gone wrong so now we do the same for the webcam it is already in the settings so here we define the remote server 192.168.1.1 and of course the username is smile okay and password is also smile okay and we just connected okay. so again as yes, you can see it is refreshment is it has already been connected now we go to the garage okay and in the settings of course it is the settings and remote and this is 192.168.1.1 username is smile and password is also same so sorry okay i think i made a mistake double i M I L E. Okay. So connect. That will get connected. Okay. So it gets connected. So this all the three devices have been connected. Now we'll move to the smartphone. Okay. I just click on this. Dex. Even if we see here, uh, uh, we click on the desktop and go to the web browser. And here I type the IP address of the server. Okay. Dot one dot one. Okay. I just okay. Now it's asking for the username. I'll just type this username is smile. Okay. And of course password is also smile. Okay. And just sign in. Now as we can see these three devices have been added up. Okay. So these three devices have been added up. Okay. Now what we can do with these three devices? Okay. So suppose if I click on this, okay, the status. Okay. So uh, now the status is off. Okay. Suppose if I turn it, if I make it dim, you can see this is dim and this is on. Okay, see the change dim, off, on, dim, and off. Okay, now regarding the garage door, okay, I just click on this garage door. Okay, so the screen is small, so this is now on. Suppose if I make it as off, it's okay. So this garage door is now open and is closed. Open, close. Similarly, this is the webcam. Okay, so this is the webcam you can see this is blinking this webcam is open now the webcam okay, is closed so open and close similarly the garage door so we can connect we can actually do this using this particular smartphone we can control this by using the smartphone itself okay so uh, we are not done yet okay now what we can do is now uh, we do next thing is uh, how we can control one thing from the other so let us see how we can do that let us name actually this device because we don't know this IoT is this directly written as IoT one. I will just uh, name is at uh, light, okay, light, and here, uh, sorry, and here I will just rename this IoT. It is in IoT one, so I'll just write it as webcam, so that I remember what this device is. Otherwise, when I put the condition, it'll just give me the IoT one, IoT two. I don't, I don't know what they are actually. I just type it as door okay which is just one door now let us come back to this uh, okay so we come back to the web browser again 
we type this 192.168.1.1 okay and so it is asking for the username okay i need to enter the password so smile okay so okay so we have this three okay so let us do have the conditions so conditions we add the conditions okay so we name this condition as on okay this name is conditions on okay or or we name it as light on so the condition is light on let us understand what does it mean so it is matching all the entries okay so if light feel if, if light we want to status is suppose is is on suppose if the light status is on okay so then what to set okay so let us see so if so if the light is on then we want to set the webcam is webcam on as true okay there is even one more condition that uh, the door should be open this is also this must also be true okay so see what will happen actually so when the light is on okay so the when the condition of light is on these two actions will be performed that is the webcam will be open okay it will start capturing the photos uh, the, the the videos and the the door will of the garage will be on uh, that is open let us add one one more condition okay so let us see light off this is another condition light off okay now we want to match if the light is uh, status is off okay now on we already defined we want to say if off then what action will be taken so uh, webcam on should be false okay and the garage door on should be also false okay so it will just close the door if the light is off okay so these are the two conditions now let us check if this things happens or not okay so okay. so now uh, we just come to this or we just uh, click again to the this particular we come to this browser again through the smartphone okay we are in the smartphone browser okay we again log in suppose so this is 192.168.1.1 okay and okay and username again smile and password is smile okay we sign in okay now uh sorry now let us see the things which we have set will be uh, done or not so now suppose if i turn it on okay now as you can see as soon as i turn it on what happens is sorry okay so as soon as i turn it on light is on so webcam is also on and garage door is open and when i put it off okay the webcam closes and the garage door also closes so when it is on both become on when this is off both are off so this is how we do this particular thing with this particular uh, this particular practical using the iot devices so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching